welcome to VTH my dear students today we are going to discuss about the biopolymers biopolymers the means the polymers which can be either biological origin or susceptible to digestion by the microorganism that means they can be either biological origin they, their origin may be biological or their digestion may be by the biological so they are called as the biopolymers the main biopolymers are from the plants or animals or bacteria or fungus the they are processed or uh, they are generated during the life cycles of the green plants animals bacteria or fungi so these are the biopolymers the biopolymers are mainly obtained from the starch materials or polysaccharides or cellulose or carbohydrate polymers in the plants or fungi or animal protein based biopolymers are also known they are silk wool gelatin and collagen these are the main examples of the biopolymers these can be obtained either from the plant plant origin or animal origin next one the applications are uses of the biopolymers the mainly used biopolymers are the cellulose derivatives hemicellulose compounds or hemicellulose starch based biopolymers tannins and the biopolymers which are obtained from the cashew nut cells and alginate these are the mainly used biopolymers in our day to day life the first one is the mainly the biopolymers are bioadsorbable sorters used in the bioadsorbable sorters or in the drug delivery systems this is the first application or main application of the biopolymers next one the cellulose derivatives cellulose derivatives that means the compounds which are derived from the cellulose are mainly used in the pharmaceutical applications pharmaceutical applications are pharmaceutical industry next to the cellular derivative like cellophane cellophane is used in the packaging industry and viscose or rayon are used as the fibers or in the textile industry these are the applications of the cellulose cellophane and viscose and rayon compounds next one the hemicellulose hemicellulose mainly used in the industrial applications like adhesives or in the manufacturing of the medical gels or either it may be also used in the polymer reinforcement process next one the starch based biopolymers starch based biopolymers can be used in the manufacturing of the adhesives or injection molding materials or used in the packaging industry or film foam or tires industry or either also involved in the painting or articultural industry next one tannin tannin is used in the adhesives manufacturing of the adhesives or formulations and binders cashew nut cells cashew nut cells mainly used in the manufacturing of the natural fibers next one the alginate alginate is extracted from the seaweed which is mainly or extensively used in the manufacturing or uses of the micro capsules these micro capsules are used for the drug delivery systems so these are mainly used in the drug delivery systems or either industrial applications these are all about the biopolymers now we can discuss about the biomedical polymers biomedical polymers means the polymers which can be used in the medical field and obtained from the biological origin are called as the biomedical polymers that means the biomedical polymer should be a biomaterial and which can be used in the medical field or medical applications are called as biomedical polymers these biomedical polymers mainly a polysaccharides or proteins or bacterial polyesters next one what are the properties of the biomedical polymers biomedical polymers have very good resistance against the biochemical attack and they are good bio compatibility and they should be very light weight in nature and they are used in the manufacturing of the desired biomedical articles which you have in their desired shapes and they should have the physical and mechanical properties good physical and mechanical properties these are the main properties should be maintained or should be applicable for the biomedical polymers next one classification of the biomedical polymers according to the origin they are mainly classified into two types they are natural biomedical polymers and synthetic biomedical polymers that means they are either natural polymers or synthetic polymers natural polymers means they are obtained from the uh, either plants or animals 
that means they are called as bio, natural biomedical polymers. These either natural biomedical polymers or artificial or synthetic biomedical polymers, they should be non-toxic in nature and biodegradable in nature and they should be mechanical to mechanically similar to the tissues and they are very easy and cheap to manufacture and they should be, they are examples of the biomedical, natural biomedical polymers are the collagen, cellulose, alginate, dextron and chitosan. These are the natural biomedical polymers. The next one is the synthetic biomedical polymers. Synthetic medical, biomedical or artificial biomedical polymers means the polymers which are synthesized in industries or in laboratories are called as synthetic biomedical polymers. They should be used in the medical field also. The examples for the synthetic biomedical polymers are either polyurethanes or epoxy resins or vinyl resins, silicone rubbers, cellophones, and polymethyl methacrylate, it is also called as PMMA and polyglycolic acid, this is also indicated as PGA and polytetrafluoroethylene, PTFE. These are the main synthetic biomedical polymers. Next one, the uses or applications of these biomedical polymers. Biomedical polymers should be used biologically. So, first one is the collagen. Collagen is a biomedical polymer which is involved in the drug delivery devices and also used in the making of the prosthetic implants in our body. Next one, chitosan. Chitosan is the biomedical polymer used in the manufacturing of the cartilage, nerve and liver tissues, artificial liver and nerve tissues. Alginate is also a biomedical polymer which is used in the manufacturing of the artificial cartilages, nerves, heart and liver tissues. Next one, silicone rubber and polytetrafluoroethylene. Both silicone rubber and polytetrafluoroethylene are used in the manufacturing of artificial heart walls. Artificial heart walls, these can be fixed with the heart patients. Next one, the both silicone rubber and cellophane are used in the manufacturing of the knee joints. Next one, PMMA, polymethyl methacrylate. Polymethyl methacrylate is a biomedical polymer used in the manufacturing of the acrylic teeth and hard contact lenses. Next one is the cellophane. Cellophane is a biomedical polymer used in the manufacturing of the semi-permeable dia dialysis membranes. These membranes are used for the kidney patients. Next one, polyglycolic acid is used in the manufacturing of the surgical suitors or used in the suitors. Okay, this is all about the biomedical polymers. We will continue in the next session. Thank you very much.